a sharp stabbing pain in your big toe? Yes, this could be a dreaded gout attack. In this video, I will share three simple tips to decrease the pain from gout attacks right there at home. Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Gernita, a specialist treating patients with gout for the last 15 years. Let's start with something simple but very effective. Tip number one is ice and rest. Gout is caused by inflammation and nothing cools down inflammation like ice. But how does ice really help with gout pain? Why something so simple like ice can bring relief so quickly? When you apply ice to the big toe or another joint that can be inflamed, the ice will numb the nerves and will reduce the pain. Inflammation comes with a lot of swelling, and that is because a lot of fluid will accumulate in the joint and the tissues around the joint. But what can you do to help that? If you elevate your foot and if you rest, then you help the swelling come down as the fluid that accumulates around the joints will drain better. Now, when you combine ice and elevating the leg, your pain and swelling will get so much better. Tip number two. This might surprise you. It's staying hydrated. It sounds simple, but drinking plenty of water can help you prevent gout attacks from happening in the first place. Now, dehydration can happen from multiple reasons, like medications. For example, if you take water pills for high blood pressure, if you are drinking a lot of coffee or sugary drinks like sodas or sugar sweetened juices, if you live in a very hot climate, like in a desert, for example, people living in Arizona or Nevada, or even if you get admitted in a hospital. Now, what happens within your body when you are dehydrated? You won't produce as much urine. The urine concentrates and you will not excrete the uric acid as quickly as you should. Because there is less fluid to dilute and excrete the uric acid, the uric acid will slowly build up in the blood and eventually will deposit in your joints. But if you're feeling thirsty, reaching for an ice cold soda, it is not the best idea. Because soda may contain caffeine, a natural diuretic, which can make you even more dehydrated. And again, raising your uric acid levels and the risk to develop a gout attack. Drinking too much alcohol, like beer or spirits or even wine, it's also a diuretic and that can lead to dehydration and will potentially trigger your next gout attack. So my friends, drinking a lot of water, especially after activities that will spark dehydration by making you sweat, can help keep your body running smoothly. In fact, a study in people with gout found that people that drink eight cups of water in 24 hours have less gout attacks. And finally, tip number three. One of the most interesting home remedies for gout is cherry juice. In the 1950s, people began to report that eating cherries reduced their frequency of gout attacks. So that sparked the interest of researchers. Now, recent research has shown that fresh cherries and cherry extract or cherry juice can help with lowering the amount of uric acid in your blood. We still don't know exactly why cherries have this effect, but the scientists believe that cherries contain some chemicals called anthocyanins, which are a type of flavonoid with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. One study involving more than 600 people suffering from gout who were followed for more than one year showed that people that ate cherries or consumed cherry extract over a two-day period had fewer gout attacks compared to people who did not consume cherries. However, if you eat cherries and you are also on allopurinol, which is a standard treatment to decrease the uric acid in your body, the risk to develop gout attacks is even lower. My personal recommendation for patients with gout in the absence of diabetes, and this is important, try to eat 10 to 12 cherries every day, especially when they are in season. If you have diabetes, eating too many cherries may increase your sugars, so pay attention to that. So while cherries might not be the magic bullet against gout, 
There is some compelling evidence that eating cherries may prevent gout attacks, but they do not cure gout. So it's better to associate them with the standard treatment like allopurinol. Now, these three simple tips are great for short-term relief, but what about preventing a gout attack from happening? For that, watch this next video to learn and to avoid those bad foods that will cause your next gout attack. Rheumatologistoncall.com